came over and we went to breakfast so we walked around downtown a little bit i walked to the grocery store and did my first like grocery shop here in the city and we have a sponsor today today's video is sponsored by anna luisa which you guys know i'm literally such a huge fan of literally all my jewelry is anna luisa i was going through it the other day i'm like i don't think i have anything else besides anna luisa i'm actually wearing anna luisa now one of you guys asked me about my like little pendant locket necklace which is also anna luisa i wear that all the time all my rings are from anna luisa <laughs> like i just am obsessed with anna luisa one of the reasons is because they're sustainable jewelry, but they're also super affordable. They're really high quality handcrafted jewelry. They're such nice pieces. They're timeless. There's a piece for everyone, honestly, but I prefer more dainty kind of like everyday pieces which is kind of what they're known for so i'm so excited i got the package in the mail today we got this one this one's called the meander ring i had my eye on this one i really 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 like it i don't know if you can tell but there's like little indentations here it's just very simplistic every day and you can actually like adjust it super freaking cute and then we got another ring medium cigar band so this one is um kind of a bigger one i like to always have like maybe one or two smaller dainty rings with like a big chunky one in the middle so that's kind of what this is it's like a boyfriend ring love this one as well it's just very nice and then this is my favorite i have been on the lookout for bracelets i don't own a bracelet now that i think about it like if I do, it's very old and I just haven't worn bracelets for a while and I've been seeing them on people more and more and I'm like, you know what? I miss having bracelets. This is called the Aura bracelet. It kind of gives the impression of like a watch band. I am obsessed. Look at that. Yes. I want to start stacking bracelets. So I wanted like a big chunky one first and foremost like this, like a really high quality one. And then I'll probably add a little bit more like smaller kind of dainty i'm saying dainty every two seconds in this video already like just smaller more simplistic pieces but i want two chunky ones on each wrist so this is my first of the stackable bracelets which i'm really excited about i think it looks so nice got all my jewelry on pieces start around 39 dollars um and you can use my promo code renee 10 for 10 percent off but i'll link my favorite ones so if you like any of my jewelry ever it's pretty much always Anna Lisa. There's a good reason for that. It's a really great company. I love, love their brand. So huge shout out to them for sponsoring today's video. Let's do a quick grocery haul. I got some popcorn. I am in need of sweets, but I don't need to be eating sweets. So I got some Lily's chocolate. This is like by far my favorite sugarless chocolate brand. They have a lot of stuff. They have like caramels. They have actual sticks of chocolate like this one. And then I found this. I had this last time I went to Greenwise. It's basically a like healthier key lime pie from this local girl who makes plant-based organic vegan desserts. She has a couple things but i had her key lime last time was really good i'm just like a salad kit person i realize like i literally have a salad for lunch every single day they're just so freaking easy i picked this one up i haven't had this one it's an asiago kale chopped salad with like brussels sprouts and stuff it's like the easiest way to get my vegetables in it's just so easy caesar classic caesar uh can't really go wrong i had this one last time it's really good it's the sweet kale and this one has cabbage it also has broccoli it's a little bit sweeter these were buy one get one free you gotta love a good public steal there's always buy one get one free and it's like with fruit and stuff which is like so appreciated blueberries strawberries for some yogurt parfaits or just fruit bowls frozen meals are also where it's at right now because i don't know how to cook and we're gonna work on that later but now it's just like i'm just so busy i don't have time i picked up this amy's green curry thai dish i love cheese and crackers this is also another good like snack slash lunch this one is white cheddar cheese and what kind of salami is this i think it's just salami pepperoni picked up a little hummus thing with like pretzels nice healthy snack i've been craving ice cream which is not like me so i picked up two haagen-dazs like really small 
um, ice cream containers so that I don't eat too much. But I got the chocolate and then the coffee. Burritos are also where it's at right now. Frozen burritos, they're just so easy. I really liked the gluten-free ones. I felt like the tortilla is just easier to like process. Like gluten-free stuff is just so much easier on my stomach. They're both Amy's. This one is beans and rice. And then this one is cheddar cheese, beans and rice. And then edible cookie dough. I don't know, you guys. I was just, I've been craving sweets so much lately. I was like, I need healthy sweets in my kitchen before I Uber Eats an entire box of like donuts or something. This one is like healthier, I think. I don't know. I need to order some stuff actually on Amazon because I had to walk quite a distance. It's like 82 degrees and it's just not good for like things like water or like oat milk or almond milk or something like that. So let's pick up some stuff on Amazon here. I want bubbly. That's something that's always a go-to in my house. I like the grapefruit lime mango one. I'm gonna see if they have water. I'm a Zephyr Hills girl and they didn't have that in New York. Oh my God, I can get $500 worth of water bottles delivered. What the hell? Who needs that many waters? I guess if you're like a business, I definitely do not need that. Oh, here we go. Zephyr Hills spring water. Pack of eight. $48. I'm just gonna go with the bigger bottles. What else? There's something, oh yeah, oat milk. I, these are literally the only two things that I get. So I get this creamer and I get this oat milk. I've realized the other ones are not too good. And I think that's good. So beverages are not something I really want to be picking up from the store and walking around with for 20 minutes in the blazing sun. <laughs> so that's gonna have to be an Amazon purchase thing. So I'm gonna put this stuff away. I don't really have much going on today. I'm gonna be going to my mom's later and spending the night and because she's working from home tomorrow so we're gonna have like coffee and my brother's gonna be there. It'll just be a really nice family morning and then tomorrow I'm going out. Like who? What? <sighs> I haven't been out in so long. My brother is gonna go out with me which is gonna be so fun. We haven't had like an actual outing since before I moved to New York just because of everything that was going on in the world so I'm excited to explore the town at night and that'll be fun. I'll definitely vlog that. And then I want to show you guys what I'm planning on doing with my apartment. The mood, inspo, decor stuff. So that'll be really fun and exciting. And then we can order furniture. I'm doing it room by room. And I honestly feel like the only room that's not going to be able to like be done in one day is the living room, I feel like. But I'm going to be doing a bedroom makeover, guest room, and then the patio. And I low-key want to buy the patio. Oh yeah, and an office. I low-key want to buy the patio stuff before anything else. Is that weird? Like to have furniture on your patio but not inside of your actual home? I just, I can't wait to be sitting on that patio. Let me know what you guys want to see first. Which room would you prefer to do, like for me to do first? Let me know. Low-key, I feel like I'm going to do the patio. Good morning guys, it is the next day, Friday. I actually spent the night at my mom's house and I woke up with my brother. I had some coffee this morning with my family. We actually started Squid Games. If you guys are, I'm sure you guys know what that is. It's super popular right now. I don't know, I'm on like episode two. I like it, but it's not like grasping me. Like I was kind of closing my eyes. Let me know if it gets better. There's a reason why it's like the most popular Netflix show. So I think I'm gonna continue to watch it, but yeah, we tried it out. I'm just not really getting it right now, like the hype. But anyway, I thought I would share with you guys like the inspo and decor ideas that I am going to be doing to this apartment. I thought that would be a fun thing. As for this hallway, my style is going to be way different than New York. So it's going to be a little bit more minimal. I feel like New York is very like textured. I had a lot of different pieces on the wall and colors, especially masculine, like dark dramatic colors and I want this apartment to just be very minimal. Like I said, I have other things going on that are more priority right now. I'm not trying to go too crazy with it. Nothing like dramatic. So I think I'm gonna end up just leaving this space completely empty, but I do need something to like hang my keys or something. So we'll figure this here out. I have a lot of art too, so we might put some art up. I don't know exactly. The guest bathroom, same. I'm just gonna keep it very minimal. I think what I'm gonna do is just pop like a nice little plant here. Nothing too crazy there. As for the guest room, what I have envisioned here is a guest daybed 
where it's kind of like a couch or sitting space and then there should be like another pull out bed for guests. I wanna put two lamps here, maybe an art piece on the wall. As for the kitchen, I'm thinking about getting some bar stools here, like three of them, and I want them to be black and white. I think that's the vibe that I'm gonna go for. Okay, so for this living space, it's a pretty open space. This is the view that you get from this side. You get a little bit of like downtown water and then this side, is a little bit more industrial so I feel like I want to be facing this way because I like that view from this side better I'm going to be getting an l-shaped couch a white couch or like some sort of light almost like a cloud couch and then I think what I'm gonna do is maybe put like a really skinny table here with like decor pieces on top I'm going to be mounting a giant TV here maybe add a nice lamp over here and I want a big white TV set on the bottom of it. Again, I found some on Ikea that I really like. There's certain pieces of furniture that I don't mind spending a lot of money on. Like the couch, I feel like it's gonna be a more expensive purchase, but the TV like sectional can just be Ikea. And then over here, the Peloton looks really good over here, honestly, and I love that it has a view. Um, but I want to put a desk here, maybe like a white or light tan maybe very simplistic i think i'm gonna shimmy this plant over into this little corner here to give me some nice greenery and separation between the living space and then the office and then peloton is just gonna have to like we'll figure that out originally gonna put it in the guest bedroom but i don't know if i'm gonna keep it out here i don't know what the couch like how big the couch is gonna be or how far back it's gonna be again we'll figure that part out when we get there and then as for the patio space this one I'm really excited about. So I think what I'm going to do is maybe put a poof or like little ottoman here. I'm going to hang like those string lights that are like kind of like the wall string lights because I actually don't have any um, lighting here. So it's really dark. We need as much light as we can. That's gonna be hanging here. I think I'm gonna wrap some regular lights around this. There's like bigger bulb, like more industrial looking ones. I'm gonna get a little couch here. I already have one in mind. I'm so excited. And then maybe like a nice like rug and maybe a plant over here. That's the patio. And then the bedroom. I don't want these sheets anymore. I think I want a little bit more brighter, like I said. So I think I'm gonna switch this to like a more vibrant, bright, airy color, maybe white, I don't know. As for above my bed, I have yet to figure that out, but we'll look online. Windows, I'm actually going to Ikea this weekend and we're gonna be getting, if you guys remember, in my other apartment in Florida, I had these really thick white curtains that went all the way down to the floor. I'm gonna get those again. We're gonna put them on this a little bit above the window to make it look very open and big. I'm also gonna put them over here and over here. So I think I need one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that's good to know. I'm going to be putting a dresser here. I think I'm gonna spend a little bit more money on that one, maybe even the same line as my furniture. I forgot what the name of this line is, but I'll pop it on the screen here, but that's my bed and my end tables. And then I'm gonna be putting my TV on top of that. Obviously, this is all gonna go. The only thing I don't really know what to do with is what to do above the wall. In my New York apartment, I had a floating shelf with like art and plants, and I don't wanna do that this time. I I think if anything now I want to do a mirror but again we shall see as for the bathroom I want to get something to go over to put like my towels and stuff like that as for my skincare everyday products I think I want to put little shelves here just pop them on there and kind of put them on display I'm gonna organize my shower a little bit more I have these things actually these hooks you just suction them onto the wall and we can make it nice, nice and pretty and whatever and then for my closet I think I want to, well, all this stuff will definitely be in a dresser. I want to do something for my shoes, maybe like a shoe organizer display kind of thing. And then again, it's going to be a little bit more open once the dresser's here. And I don't even know what's going to go in here. I feel like it'll just be so open. So that's the current idea. I do have some mood inspo pictures that I saved on Instagram. I really like this vibe. It's very minimal, bright and airy, has a nice open feel to it, but also very cozy. It doesn't feel like hotelish if you will. Maybe we'll do something like this in my bedroom area. I love this chair. I really like 
the curtains here with like the very minimal office. The couch that I'm gonna go for is something like this. I'm pretty sure this is the actual cloud couch. But that is so expensive. Who freaking knows? This is the office space I like for the furniture pieces. Like I really like that chair, the simplistic white desk. This is another living space um, that I really like. I like this vibe for the guest room, like a day bed. I really like that desk a lot. Where is that from? I think it's Ikea. Chair, love. I just love the simplicity and neutral tones. Here's another office that I really like. This is like a good inspo for colors. Bedroom, something like bright, like I said, something like that. I want the living or the guest bedroom to have lots of cozy lights and stuff like that. So I, I really like this idea for the uh, guest room. Love that. This kind of looks like my apartment, but the couch would be facing that way. So I'm gonna make a list right now called Ikea because I'm going this weekend. So I need to get those curtains. I need, what did I say, six of those. Um, A TV, what is it called? Like TV stand. I'm gonna get the dresser from West Elm. Over the, over the tub organizer. I might get that on Amazon, as well as the shelving. Uh, maybe like a shoe organizer. I, again, I can find that on Amazon, but I'm just gonna look. A day bed, mm, maybe a desk. Hmm. I think the other pieces I wanna get like um, better quality ones, but I feel like this stuff is what Ikea is kind of known for, where you can't really go wrong and it's inexpensive. So that's what I am going to do there. And then next week, I think I'm gonna actually go to West Elm, Pottery Barn, just kind of look around at things like a couch, dresser, and then the patio furniture I actually found on Amazon. I'm really excited to do that. I really wanna do that one first, but I feel like I'm gonna be patient on that one. That's the mood inspo for this apartment. If you guys have any ideas, let me know down below. I'm going to edit this video. My brother's coming over a little bit later today, so I think I'm just gonna edit this video a little bit and chill out for today because I'm kind of exhausted. <laughs> uh, I'm kind of hungry actually too. Maybe I'll eat and just chill.